In this video, we are going to learn logical functions, logical operators, and conditional formatting. Examples will be demonstrated to gain an understanding about these concepts. Logical functions are used to test whether a situation is true or false. The decision can be used to display information, perform calculations, or perform another test. The first logical function that we will use is the if function. If function returns one value if a logical expression is true and another if it is false. Its syntax is equal sign if open parenthesis logical expression comma value if true comma value if false close parenthesis. Only one of the two values will be returned depending on the result of the logical expression. This logical expression typically compares two things. It usually contains comparison operators which are equal to, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, and not equal to. Let's have an example to understand this. In this spreadsheet, we have the table that contains the data set. Suppose this data set is about expenses which monthly allowance is spent. There is also another table that has question and answer columns. Let's answer this question using the if function. First question is which is larger, electricity bill or food? Here we need to compare the values of electricity bill, which is in cell B9, and food, which is in cell B7. Type in equal sign if open parenthesis B9 greater than B7, comma, electricity bill, comma, food. Remember to put the text in double quotation marks, but do not put quotation marks if the value to be returned is a number or formula. Based on the arguments, the text electricity bill will appear on the cell if the logical expression, which is B9 greater than B7, is true. If false, the text food will be shown. As we can see, the result is food because the electricity bill is not greater than food. Let's proceed to another example. For the next question, we need to compare the amount of house rental, which is in cell B11 and 1000. Type in equal sign if open parenthesis B11 greater than 1000 comma yes comma no close parenthesis. Based on the arguments, the text yes will be returned if the logical expression which is B11 greater than 1000 is true. If false, the text no will be displayed. The result is no because B11 is only 800. It's not greater than 1000. Before we continue with other logical functions, let's apply some conditional formatting rules to this cell. Conditional formatting is a feature that allows us to apply specific formatting to cells that meet certain criteria. We can use this to highlight, emphasize, or differentiate among data stored in a spreadsheet. Go to the Format tab and select Conditional Formatting. Conditional Format Rules sidebar will appear. Under the single color tab, enter the cell or range of cells where the conditional formatting will be applied. For example, we only want to apply the rule in cell E8, but if it's a range of cells, for example E8 up to E10, then we can enter E8 colon E10. But for our demo today, let's just use E8. Click the drop down arrow to view the different rules. Since we want to know if the text in the cell is either yes or no, we will select text containing as the rule. In the value text box, enter the word yes. Then for the formatting style, choose red fill color. Click the done button. Let's add another rule. In the same cell, let's apply another format rule. Select text contains, then in the value text field, enter the word no. For the formatting style, choose green fill color. Click the Done button. Notice that it automatically showed a green fill color. Let's change the value in the amount allotted for house rental. Let's say 2000. As we can see, it changed to color red because the text now becomes yes. At this point, we will continue with our logical functions. The next in our list is called sum if. This function returns a conditional sum across a range. Its syntax is equal sign sum if open parenthesis range comma criterion comma sum range. The first argument is a range which is tested against the criterion. 
The second argument is criterion, which is the test to apply to range. It may be a text or a logical expression. The third argument is the range where those values to be summed can be seen. This is optional if the range is similar to the first argument. We have this table that contains our data set. Suppose this is about expenses of a particular day. The first question is asking for the total amount spent for food. In our data set, there are several categories and we are only interested in adding the values for the food category. To do this, let's use the sum if function. Type in equal sign sum if open parenthesis g3 colon g10 comma food comma h3 colon h10. The first argument is a range where we can find the word food. The second argument is the criterion and the third argument is the place where the values to be added are found. It returned the value 240. It means it only added those values that met the criterion, which in this example is food. The next function is average if. It returns the average of a range depending on criteria. Its syntax is equal sign average if open parenthesis range comma criterion comma average range. The first argument is a range which is tested against the criterion. The second argument is criterion, which is the test to apply to range. The third argument is the range where those values to average can be seen. This is optional if the range is similar to the first argument. Let's have an example. The second question is asking for the average amount spent for transportation. To answer this, let's use the average if function. Type in equal sign average if open parenthesis G3 colon G10 comma transportation comma H3 colon H10. The first argument is our range where we can find the word transportation. The second argument is the criterion and the third argument is the place where the values to average are found. It returned 125. This means it took the average of the values that met the criterion, which in this example is transportation. The next function is COUNTIF. It returns a conditional count across a range. Its syntax is equal sign COUNTIF open parenthesis range comma criterion. Close parenthesis. The first argument is a range which is tested against the criterion. The second argument is criterion which is the test to apply to range. Let's have an example. For the third question, it is asking for the number of times the money was spent for food. To find this, let's use the COUNTIF function. Type in equal sign COUNTIF open parenthesis G3 colon G10 comma food close parenthesis. The first argument is a range where we can find the word food and the second argument is a criterion. It returned three because there are three times the word food appeared in the range. Let's have another example. For the fourth question, it asks for how many tickets have been paid. If we look at the range, we cannot just simply use the word ticket as criterion since there are words before it and they are not the same. Therefore, we need to use a wildcard. Question mark wildcard can be used if we know the exact number of characters including spaces before the word ticket. If there are six characters, then six question marks before the word ticket. In this example, the question mark wildcard is not appropriate, so we look for another wildcard. We can use the asterisk wildcard if there are multiple characters and it varies in every instance. For example, let's put asterisk before the word ticket. As we can see, it returned 2, which is the correct answer. It counted all the cells that contain the word ticket. The next function is called ifs. It evaluates multiple conditions and returns a value that corresponds to the first true condition. Its syntax is equal sign ifs open parenthesis condition 1 comma value 1 comma condition 2 comma value 2 and so on. Condition 1 is the first condition to be evaluated. Value 1 is the returned value if condition 1 is true. Condition 2 is the next to be evaluated if the previous one is false. The next value is to be returned if its corresponding condition is true. This will continue in the same fashion if there are other conditions to be evaluated with its corresponding return values. For example, the comment that will appear in cell K7 depends on the number of tickets. 
there are three possible comments. So let's use the ifs function. Type in equal sign ifs, open parenthesis, k6 is equal to 3, comma, n4. That's the first condition and its value if true. k6 is equal to 2, comma, n5. That's the second condition to be evaluated if the first condition is false and its corresponding value if true. K6 is equal to 1, comma, N6. That's the last set of condition and value if true. The answer shown is acceptable since the value in K6 is 2, which returns N5 that has acceptable text. The last part of this video is about logical operators. Let's talk about AND logical operator and OR logical operator. Let's first look at the syntax of AND operator. It is equal sign AND open parenthesis logical expression 1, comma, logical expression 2, and so on. Close parenthesis. It returns true if all the provided arguments are true and false if any of the provided arguments are false. For example, let's use a function to answer the question is the grocery less than 500 and more than 300? Type in equal sign if open parenthesis and open parenthesis h7 less than 500 comma h7 greater than 300 close parenthesis comma yes comma no close parenthesis. The first argument contains the AND operator, which is two logical expressions. If the first argument is true, then the second argument will be displayed otherwise the third argument. The answer is no because even if the grocery is more than 300, it is not less than 500. Remember that this will only return the text yes if all the expressions in the first argument are true. Second logical operator is OR. Its syntax is equal sign OR open parenthesis logical expression 1 comma, logical expression 2, and so on. It returns true if any of the provided arguments are true, and false if all of the provided arguments are false. For our next example, it is asking whether one of the tickets paid is equal to 200. Type in equal sign if, open parenthesis, or open parenthesis h8 is equal to 200, comma, h10 is equal to 200, close parenthesis comma, yes, comma, no, close parenthesis. The first argument contains the OR operator, which has two logical expressions. At least one of the two is true for the OR operator to return a true value. As we see, it returned yes because one of the tickets costs 200. We come to the end of this video lesson. I hope I have given some light to your knowledge about logical functions, operators, and conditional formatting on Google Sheets.